everybody, it's me again, Shelly. Today I'm gonna do another ring pour. My last video I did a ring pour. The only difference today is I'm gonna wreck it with a comb. All right, I'm doing my painting today on another 16 by 20 inch Artist Loft canvas. This painting is actually inspired by Mina Villegas. I hope I said that right. Her painting she did called Armitage, or Hermitage. The only difference is I don't have the exact same colors as her because I'm not using the same brands. So I went and bought paints, the cheap little apple barrel ones from Walmart. And um, I'm adding a color actually. So the colors I'm using today <clears throat> is Folk Art Color Shift an emerald flash apple barrel chocolate sprinkle apple barrel turquoise apple barrel english ivy green artist loft deep yellow deco art americana decor metallics in 24k gold And I will most likely, I'm going to be, well, definitely I'm going to use this. The pearl white mixture I mixed up with my Apple Barrel White and my Liquitex, base, uh, Liquitex Iridescent Medium. That is this. Alright. So you're going to lay your cup just like you do in a regular ring pour. And when you pour, do your ring pour, the only thing is instead of leaving it in the tree rings like you would like I did on the last one you'll take your comb and you're gonna pull it through your paints and it creates different lines instead of just circles and that's called a wrecked ring pour all right so I'm gonna start layering my cup down the side like normal oh also this size painting when I looked it up it needs about 13.2 ounces of paint and I have, I believe, 18 ounces mixed up between all the colors. And I did it with my 60% glue all, Elmer's glue all, and my 40% water pouring medium. And with the Apple Barrel, they're thinner paints, so you don't have to use as much pouring medium because they're already thin. So I did two parts paint to one part pouring medium on these colors here. Now this one was my Artist Loft, it's a little thicker, I did a one to one ratio. I did one ounce of paint to one ounce of pouring medium. Oh, that's glue. The metallics, like color shift, this color shift is going to be metallics. It's, it was thicker so I did, and you want to leave them thicker than the rest of your paints or they'll sink, sink under your other colors and they won't show up in your paintings as much. I did one and a half parts paint to half part of pouring medium. The same with my 24K. It is really super thick. I'll show you in the container how thick it is when you, when you buy this. This stuff is thick, 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 thick. It won't even really drip off the thing except for the big clump of it. So you have to use a little bit more pouring medium in that one. Um, also, there's no silicone in my paints. And I did have to add just a little bit of water to all of them, just a little squirt or two of water. All right, we're gonna start laying the paints in the cup down the side. I'm gonna start off with my white. I'm not gonna put a lot. Um, another thing I forgot to. With this needing 13.2 ounces, and because I'm gonna stretch, I'm going to try to get about 16 ounces, which would be up to this line here. So I'm going to try to layer my paints all the way up to that line. All right. So I'm going to start. I don't want to do a lot of white. I just want a little. All righty. Let me get something to write this up. Um, also, I'm going to leave a link 
to Mina Villegas' YouTube channel so you can watch hers. And if you haven't noticed, I have been starting to leave links for my material supplies where I got it and everything like that. You can check, check that on the video. Alright, I'm going to put some gold. Not a lot. Okay. Now I'm going to do brown. Break this cup.
a dark green. Put much white as I planned on putting in there, so it's not exactly going to be at the 16 inch, the 16 ounce mark. brown as my flow extender so I want to put a little bit at the end there because if you remember your last color in will be the first one out on the canvas and since that's already going to be around my ring pour I'll let that be on the outer edges and because I'm making this my flow extender I'm going to thin this down some more just to let the paint glide a little better on the canvas. All right, I don't know if you can see that, but it just runs right off. That's how I want it. ounces of paint instead of 16. All right, I'm going to start, move my cup out of the way real quick. You see my layered cup? All right, let's put this back in frame. Let's fix this. this gold in the center for a little puddle for it to pour into. Alright, All right, I'm going to start off this time with just kind of a little bit of a straight pour, just let it pour in there, and then I'll start doing my rings. Alright, here we go. And make sure that the canvas was level before I started pouring because I want my paints to stay on my canvas and not roll right off the canvas because it's not level. Alright, I'm 
going to take a little bit, the rest of this gold, kind of roll it around the edge of the can, get the ring for it. Now here's my flow extender that I thin down. Take it around the edge. It's a lot thinner, so it's just gonna make the paints just roll, slide right across the canvas. So I'm going to take my little spatula that I bought today. I'm just going to spread this out a little bit. I was using that metal like icing spatula and it, I didn't like the way it felt like it was always just scraping the canvas. has a larger block of color to drag, to drag through, which would be this area right here, that green. Hey, my hands grew. Let me do the mediums. The smalls aren't fitting me right today. This is safe working. I also bought me this handy dandy apron because it's getting harder and harder for me to find clothes to wear out in public that doesn't have paint on it. So I was like, well, let me get an apron and see if that helps. I'm having a time with these gloves today. Lord. Maybe it's because I wipe my hands with the baby wipes. I don't know. Okay. That I don't have to do. Alright, so but I want to, when I do my comb, I want to get it in this brown. Kind of bring some of that through. Um, I'm going to probably kind of do a little like that pattern. wipe this off. I'm sorry, every time I hit that table, I forget that it makes my camera shake. Okay, let's do something right here. There we go. Alright. So, you see how it kind of gives you different lines in your painting and stuff. Alright, now I'm going to start tilting this. 
let's see. I want to till, I'm gonna come this way first. No, that paint's not moving. Let's go this way. Take it to the corner, right over, lift, come back to the center. Let's go this way. To the corner, bring it back to the center. Let's go to this corner. Bring it back. Let's go this way. Oh, it's got my paint, my hair all in the paint. set this down for a second. Turn this around so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. I want to open up these lines some. You get some of that got muddy up here at the top. And get this paint out of my hair. Huh. Have fun getting that out. You see that? That is paint all in my hair. If there is a way to get paint on me, I am going to get paint on me. Wow. Okay. So, I want to torch this. It doesn't have any silicone in it, so it shouldn't get sailed. But the air bubbles, when they pop, if there's paint colors underneath it, then it will make those colors come to the surface. Very muted compared to the last wind pour that I did. Kind of like it though. It's different. Not everybody likes bright colors. So this is for those who like the more earth tones and muted tones. Alright, I'm going to try to take you down for a close-up. Alright. Very earthy looking. And everywhere that gold is, when it dries and gets resin, it is just going to shimmer. Also, that color shift that I showed you, it will shimmer as well. And then when you turn it, it will change colors. 
All right, guys. Well, have a good one. Wait, before I go, like, subscribe, share, click the notification button. Have a good one, guys.